first off, Congratulations, and we're so happy to have you to actually listen to it with our storyboard team and our animation team. They were just like, oh my gosh, what <laughs> Kellen's doing is so great. Like, they were so excited. Fred Honored to be part of the universe and everything. Could be so pluck your feathers. We got a fresh batch of nasties to process. <laughs> Chris! Hey, hey. You're in the movie! I know, I'm so excited. It's called The Wing Feather Saga. I hope that when it becomes a series that I get to be part of that, oh, too. Oh, you hear him? You hear him going on that? That's we'll it, a little campaign for me. You did such a good job singing the shanty in the commercial, we thought we'd just go ahead and hire you. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Hi, Ellie, good to see you. Hi! I'm so glad to be here. We are so glad to welcome you to Wing Feather Saga. I'm such a fan of this project. And so it's really sweet to get to be any part of it. For people that don't know, uh, you read Wing Feather Saga. Can you tell us about like reading it and what you response to it? I flew through the series, but I fell in love particularly with Poto. Ended up writing a song inspired by his story. And you and I, for people that don't know, got to work together on Slugs and Bugs on an episode and had a great time together. And and I was like, Ellie is so fun on camera. I wonder if she could be voicing. And so I was delighted when Ned uh, sent over the audition he did with you and Andrew and I both were like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Gentle folk of Scree, welcome to Clipwood's annual Dragon Day. We are truly in Indebted to our brave and magnanimous hosts whose presence here is ever present. In, so good to see you in the booth. Congratulations on being cast in our show. We're so glad well, to have you. Well, thank you, and I'm, I'm glad to be here. In fact, I'm glad to be anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> He's very um, obsequious and uh, ingratiating in his... Uh, a bit of a Uri heap. It's almost, there's a wonderful phrase called sinister benevolence. <laughs> you summoned young Master Ickaby? We are so excited to have you joining us. Oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> have you ever done anything like this before, Dave? No, no. Yeah, I was telling a friend today at lunch, was my weird life. I remember when we had the, the guy, other guys audition for this thing, I was like, I just want him to sound like an Indiana farm boy. If only we could find somebody with that accent. And there you are. My, don't you all look beautiful. Well, most of you anyway. Fangs are ugly. I can't believe it, Chris. I just I just have one question for you. What about Oscar Nostra Deep? Andrew, I totally forgot. We, we got to get Oscar in here. What are we going to do? We got to find somebody. find someone who can pull off the voice of a, a person who cares about books. Oh, good heavens. Dragon Day, exactly. I'm putting these books in the window to sell to festival goers, all of them about sea dragons. Do any of them say why Dragon Song makes people act so- Odd, silly, discombobulated. Congratulations, we're so glad to have you. Yeah, Welcome thank you so much, I'm so excited. Oh, happy Dragon Day. Oh, I like your vest, Janner. And I like your flowers, Lily. And it is a privilege to have you. No, 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 it's, it's a, I, I've never done this before, so this is all new to me. Thank you very much for having me. And now the, with this great team, uh, please keep me right, so. <laughs> we will, absolutely. <laughs> we had gone down the list of potential actors for this thing. We were late in the game and I, I texted in, I was like, hey, Ned, I just remembered uh, Desmond from Lost. Is Henry in Like, can we reach out to, just as kind of like a, you know, uh, a, a last pass in the game kind of thing. And so uh, it was, it's just delightful to me that this worked out. Watching your character on Lost, right? Go and going, this is guy who's balancing this heroic, you know, uh, romantic, whatever, and this like mentally like troubled guy. I saw the drawing, I thought, that's, that, that's me. <laughs> it's weird, yeah, I, that's odd. Keep them safe, I will. Get up, go, we go. Griffin. Congratulations, you get to join us on the Wingfeather Saga. This is so Thank cool. You. But Tank is just this kind of crazy, he's always hungry. He's just a fun-loving uh, kind of goofball. <laughs> it's basically, it's basically <laughs> me. I, I can't, I can't understand the cast. 
<laughs> They've got a pop rocket! But we can't do anything to get in trouble. <laughs> then let's not get caught. I'm so excited that you got this part. <laughs> I'm really excited too. Mr. Andrew um, has three children, two boys and a girl. It's like the same as our story. And same as my life. Yeah. <laughs> I have two older brothers and I'm the youngest girl. So you understand Lily very well. Maybe they'll have plumium fluffins again. Okay, oh, congratulations. We are so glad to welcome you to the Wing Feather Saga. Yay! Thank you so much. So excited for you, man. It's been great getting to know you and kind of hearing just what you've brought to Janner so far. I'm about like halfway into the first book that we got like two days ago. Wow. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, I'm so glad. That's got to be such a weird feeling to be reading this book yeah. knowing that you've been cast as the dude who's going to be playing the main guy. Yeah. I can't imagine. Uh, with with Janner's lines, I've been like saying them out loud and seeing how it felt. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Awesome, man. I love it. Stabish elbows. Exceedingly hot behind your parts. Oof. Never knew a dig toad would be that big. Kevin, uh, welcome to the Wing Feather Saga. We are so glad to have you playing the role of Poto. It's I, my I pleasure to be here. Thank you. Andrew has been reading this voice for many years, so he's ready for a competition to see if you can sound more piratey than he does. Okay, yeah. well, I've got a bit of a head start on him, but um, <laughs> I'm sure he's <laughs> I'm sure he's capable of he's giving me a good run for my yeah. money. You're a bit of an ex-pirate yourself, I guess, yeah? Uh, I'm a bit of an expert pirate, actually. Um, so uh, I think I can bring something to Podo. I love that that back and forth pulling uh, that a character has in what he wants to do and what he can do. But the last time I have any say in it, straight off the cliff, a lot of them. Grandpa! Fine. I let him live. Barely. Hi, Jody. I'm Chris. It's good to meet you. Hey, Chris. I am so excited. Thank you so much for inviting me to be part of your project. I'm I'm really, really excited. I've read um, episode one, two, and three, and uh, I'm waiting for episode four. I need to, need to know more. <laughs> uh, it's so thank it's you. wonderful, you know, to, to be part of a project where it lines up, you know, with who I am and where I stand as far as integrity and character and family entertainment. I love her mama bear. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> I love the mama bear because mama bear's in me and mama bear yes. comes out at the right time, at the right place. And um, that's great. you don't mess, you don't mess with the kids. So I love that about Nia because I can tell mm -hmm. that she really likes her kids. Mm -hmm. She's not just mom taking mm -hmm. care of them out of responsibility. Oh, I'd love to have an actual potato harvest this year. I hope you get all of them this time. We will, Mama. Boys, you're on dinner duty. 